truth is stranger than fiction. Air Rufai says after APC loses or shoot to PDP, Governor Nasir Air Rufai of Kaduna State has posted a crypt message that many believe was his verdict on the outcome of a governorship election in Oshun State. The Duma Voice reports that Ademola Adeliki of the People's Democratic Party PDP pulled the highest votes to beat his main challenger, Boyega Oyotola, to win the keenly contested election. Oyotola, despite having the support of Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, Abdullah Ganduje, and some top APC stakeholders, lost a second term bid. In his post on his Facebook page, Erufa believes that truth is stranger than fiction. He wrote Sunday Wisdom. It is no wonder that truth is stranger than fiction. Fiction has to make sense, he quoted Mark Twain. Well, so many people have reacted. There is no proverb or there is no tweet or there is no uh, quote that will change whatever has happened. It is for them to face reality and begin to dance to the tune of the people that puts them in power. It is not good for anybody, nobody, and they should always remember that this is a tenor thing. Four years or eight years if you are doing well. But if you are not doing well, honestly, people today are wiser. Nobody wants to suffer. Everyone wants to live with dignity, at least to survive with their daily, whatever business that they are doing, things are working, they slide their security, at least they can go out and come back safely without any monetary fear on the road. But what do we see? So everyone knows that there's a power in the vote that they have in their PVC. Take it and do the needful. The area of rigging, I'm sure, is beginning to be eroded now with this electronic device that INEC has put in place. You cannot intimidate anybody anymore. The era of writing results without any people voting, I think, I'm sure, is coming to an end gradually. And so the people voice, the people's vote has started counting. You people have not seen anything yet. You will soon understand the handwriting on the wall. For Tinubu to lose the state is an evidence that by 2023 general election, he has no place in Asoro. It is OB all the way. They think they can use money to buy our sense. They are big jokers ready for the shocker come 2023. Air of fire, the indicator of Muslim Muslim ticket, you shall never see anything yet. This is the truth. They need to face it. I hope you are not started weeping because this is his wish for ocean people. Do or die election is over, but we will even see more come 2023. This is the people reacting. I am surprised to hear this. Only a dead man will vote for the ruling party. If Anna was to conduct the election in dreams, the other election the ruling party won sent me guessing. Something was wrong somewhere. These people have caused Nigerian mental torture, anguish, and must not be allowed to continue. We must follow the wolves that are in the party to their graves, and never again will they be voted in. They have always had their ways through the game, but this time is the moment of God's intervention. Oshin Bupu have given Tinubu the first answer. The second answer will be for Buhari, Adamu, and Tinubu come 2023. This is not about religion. The issue of a delicate Christian, Christian ticket you are saying is far from it. That is the state level. We are talking about federal, which has power than state. We are talking about federal, which character must carry everyone along. Has there not been Muslim Muslim ticket in the north? And who have been concerned about it is El Ero, started it in Kaduna. Has there not been Muslim? Has there not been Muslim Muslim to get in other states? This is the evidence that people are protesting and they are reacting with their votes. So no more incumbency power. The devil, you know, is better than the saints you don't know. The door that waste band will never get lost. Tinubu is an example he easily betrays to his root, which is not far-fetched. APC top politicians should take note that money can't solve their problem in 2023. Adeleke is also a Muslim and his re-election, his election makes no difference. Let what are to help the future. 
and the leke is not the Muslim, it's a Christian, and it is Christian, Christian ticket. Please take note. The task ahead now is to stop Muslim, Muslim ticket. Nigerians be wise, stop this plan. Oshun victory is Christian, Christian ticket in the Muslim dominated state of Oshun. This will send a stronger message towards 2023. What message? Are you aware that Alec Boshola of APC gave Alec Deleke almost half of his vote is called? It means without the crisis between Oyatola and Alec Boshola, PDP will have scored less than half of what is called. So don't force about nothing. They will resolve before 2023. APC did not need Christian vote to win. This is just the beginning. Are you, judge, are you jubilating for the winner of the election? Let's remember the one that is greater than earthly election. The evenly one is coming, where there won't be rigging or buying of votes. An insight to 2023 presidential election, despite the bullion van dollars the new book gave to Oshun traditional rulers, please vote plus vote by. Oshun people still rejected APC. The truth must be told that hatred for APC and operators by Nigeria is crying blood abomination. Both the parties share money. Election is game of number. You win some and you lose some. Congratulations to the winners. You have said it all. The greatest fall will be in 2023 when Tinumbu himself will be defeated so that the last release of this APC will be no more. Whoever votes APC in any election doesn't have the interest of the suffering Nigeria at heart. We have given them enough eight years, but they deliver insecurity, economic woes, unemployment, destruction of educational system, organized kidnapping, crimes, hatsmen, destruction in agricultural sector and business, brazen corruption. We cannot continue like this. As we went on strike since February, their children are abroad schooling, their sick ones are abroad receiving treatment, they are busy looting the economic impoverishing the poor masses. 2023, we must get out of the whims and caprices of these wicked politicians. All youth should get PVC and vote them out. They have nothing to offer again. Well, that is the reaction of so many people about Aerofans comments and people are saying the look, this is just the beginning. We are ready to show you the red card because we have not improved on our lives. We have not touched anything meaningful for us to say get back to power, especially the focus is now on Tinumbu. Now, come 2023, APC may lose gallantly. Well, 2023 is around the corner. Are you sure this that happened in Oshun will be replicated nationally or it will be the other way around? Kindly share your opinion and make your comment known. See you again. Remain ever blessed.